This is one of sport's great proving grounds, a gateway to glory where heroes are made. Absolutely first class. 29 tournaments spanning 17 countries on three continents. It's a 10-month campaign to determine the very brightest prospects in golf. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, oh, oh, and he is right goodness. into this. Brilliant. That could just have sealed his promotion. What a way to do it. Along the way, a chance for the class of 2022 to expand horizons and sample life on tour. Welcome to my messy home this week here. Hey, hey I hope you got that, did you? Finish the season in the top 20 on the road to Mallorca rankings and secure a golden ticket to the DP World Tour. That's the dream shared by all who compete on the Challenge Tour. After a sunny week spent in Spain, the Challenge Tour heads to the birthplace of the game. Scotland boasts not only the oldest, but also arguably the most revered courses in the world. From Muirfield to Musselburgh, Troon to the old course, there's history everywhere you look. It's a new generation though that treads this hallowed turf, all looking to make their mark on the sport. After a three-year absence from the schedule, the Farm Food Scottish Challenge, supported by the R&A, makes a welcome return and at a new venue. Newmacker Golf Club, just outside Aberdeen, is hosting a Challenge Tour event for the very first time. I've always enjoyed playing in Scotland. Uh, I think it's a great place for golf, the home of golf. People here are just really nice. They, they like golf, they enjoy talking golf. It's just a nice atmosphere. Obviously, the, the golf courses are, are great here as well, so it's always nice to come here. I love playing in Scotland. I mean, I, I'm having a lot of uh, funny conversations with the Italian guys because it's not the most loved place uh, to play golf for them because it's cold, it gets windy, it gets tough. But honestly, I don't know, I've always felt that there is such a big culture of golf and, and people know so much about it. It's just pure golf. I just got here, but it, it looks it looks really nice. Uh, some nice views around the clubhouse here. and um, It looks like the kind of grass I'm used to playing on over here in, um, in Scotland. So, no, I mean, I really look forward to getting out on the course and having a closer look, but it looks amazing from here. Come November, the leading 45 players on the road to Mallorca will qualify for the season-ending Grand Final, after which the top 20 secure promotion to ply their trade on the DP World Tour. JC Ritchie still leads the way. Jens Dantorp making recent strides with his win at the Challenge de España. Third place in Spain was enough to vault Michael Lindbergh 33 places up to 15th spot. Jeremy Freiberghaus finished a shot adrift of Lindbergh in Cadiz and is now in possession of 20th place. So with plenty to play for, the 14th edition of the Farm Food Scottish Challenge, supported by the R&A, got underway early on Thursday morning. And on the mic for us, Josh Antman. Calm conditions this first morning of the Farm Foods Scottish Challenge. We're expecting winds to pick up later this afternoon, and it's Daniel Kay. He's got the honour here at New Macca. Off he goes, and we're up and running in Aberdeenshire. Over to the par 3, 9th, we find Todd Clements off the back of the 13th place finish at the Challenge of Espana last week. This from long range for Birdie. Ah, superbly done from Todd. Short sleeves are out. The sun's out as well. Good conditions this. For the players early on, Marco Penge. Just short of the trouble down this right side of the 10th hole. Having a good season, Marco. Four cuts made out of four so far. Bit of course management there for Marco. Little help from that greenside hump. Now over to Nathan Kimsey.
Ramsey. An up and down season so far for Nathan, but having a good day today. No bogeys on the scorecard as it stands. It's not going to be an eagle, but a very good chance for birdie coming up for Nathan. Over to 10. Craig Lee, plenty of home support for the man from Sterling. New equipment in the bag as well recently for Craig. Seems to be helping. A laser like iron from Craig at 10. Back over to Kimsey at the par 5 16th. This is for birdie. No bogeys and seven birdies for Nathan. What a great start to his week at New Makar. Pars at 17 and 18 place Nathan top of the pile come closer play on day one. A shot clear of his compatriot Marco Penge. Among those in the chasing pack, no less than three Scotsmen. And that the home nation are so well represented in our top 10 through 18 holes makes sense. They're after all no stranger to golfing success. Take our tournament host this week, 1999 Open champion Paul Laurie, a local lad looking to bring the good times back. Well, I'm from here, uh, born and bred uh, in Aberdeen. So obviously the Scottish Challenge being the home of golf and not having a challenge to an event, I thought was disappointing. When this event wasn't on, you know, for a few years, uh, I think we struggled a little bit to get players to make that next jump up to the main tour from the Challenge Tour. So now we feel as though that's our job with this event to bring through the next generation of players to give them that platform to get to the DP World Tour because that's what they all want to go to. And this event is hugely important for that. So I think we'll, we'll prove that this event is the catalyst for that. Hosting duties aside, Paul has had an interest in proceedings this week. A proportion of the field hailing from his very own Tartan Pro Tour, a developmental circuit for Scottish-based players. Paul's been great, obviously, setting up, and it's been great for the Scottish guys, uh, being able to compete over like, in the winter and stuff like that, uh, like in the lead-up to the season, so, yeah, I couldn't ask for much more. Um, and it's on very, very good venues as well, so it makes a massive difference. I've been enjoying playing it. I've been lucky enough to get a few wins, which has been good. It's good that other guys now from down in England and from further afield over in Ireland as well are coming to play them. Uh, it's been nice to obviously have some events the last couple of years when things haven't been great and the lower down tours with COVID and whatnot. So it's been good to play, so we thank him a lot for it. I think there was a, a little period where, you know, there was our youngest tour player was something like 30 something years of age, which was Richard Ramsey for a while, but that's changed completely. We've got a number of guys coming through who are all looking as though they could win tournaments uh, on the tour, and some of them already have. And I think we're definitely getting there. A lot of people are working very, very hard. And uh, I think we're, we're in a healthy state. The future appears bright for Scottish golf then. But as the saying goes, there's no time like the present. So it's all eyes on the Farm Food Scottish Challenge, supported by the R&A. And watching for us, Josh Antman again. Very different conditions on this second day at New Makar. High crosswinds, which is going to cause a few problems for the players. Martin Simerson here at the par four third. No problems for Martin there. Thumbs up as well from his playing partner. Gorgeous hole on the third here at New Makar. And Pedro Oriol, what a drive at 17 here. Played well in Spain last week before the high winds took its toll, but going well this week. Fantastic wedge from Pedro. That sets up a great birdie chance to get to five under par. Back to Simonson at the par four third after that fantastic iron shot. Can he convert? Of course he can. Seven under par now for the Dane. Good start to day two for Martin. up with the first round leader, Nathan Kimsey, on the ninth, his final hole of the day. Line that one up and down. That's a great line. Just needed a few more feet to get over that ridge in the middle of the green. Good chance for birdie coming up though for Nathan. Bit of frustration. Possibly the wrong club for Kimsey. 
over to the par three six. We find Craig Lee, it's his 15th hole. He's got this to lead on his own at eight under par, just leaving it short. Extra player for Craig today. If Craig's cold, then it must be chilly out there. He'll tap him for par and remain at seven under par. Good week for Craig so far. Now back to Kimsey on his final hole. He's disappointed with the tee shot. Just to finish in style. Oh, and he does. Just creeps in the front door and Nathan Kimsey gets to seven under par alongside Craig Lee. That'll make dinner taste that extra bit special tonight. Good two days work from Kimsey. Elsewhere, a brilliant six under par round of 65 saw Spain's Javier Sainz bolt himself into a five-way share of fifth spot. Ahead of that group, only Todd Clements, Marco Eiton, Nathan Kimsey and Craig Lee. I mean, it is, it's, you just got to hit it really straight. It's as simple as that. Two thoughts, you can either get up on the wind and let it ride with the wind, or you can keep it under the trees and uh, you can play from there. But the course itself is great. Um, you get to hit every shot, left to right, right to left. Uh, and this wind is, uh, is a really good test for it. So, um, you know, there's uh, uh, 17, 16 really good golf holes out there. So it's, uh, it's a good test. Coming up after the break, we sample some fine Scottish fare. They've whipped us up six courses to try, famous Scottish dishes. So let's see how we go on. He's hungry, ready to go. And at the 2022 Farm Food Scottish Challenge, supported by the R&A, we crown our champion. Welcome back to the Challenge Tour and this week's destination, Aberdeenshire, situated along the east coast of Scotland. It's home to some spectacular golf courses, including our venue, New Macca Golf Club. Host to the 1997 Scottish Open, it's the first time a Challenge Tour event's been played here. I would like to think the players could see that everyone this week has worked unbelievably hard to make sure this event happens. They would like players to take that away from that, that wow, this is an event that I want to come back to. Everyone works hard, everyone made sure it was a great event and made a good experience for us. It's all you can ask of anybody. And buoyed by the familiarity of home soil, a Scot led the way through 36 holes of the Farm Food Scottish Challenge, supported by the R&A, Craig Lee. He was tied on seven under with Nathan Kimsey, both a stroke clear of the chasing pack. Nathan Kimsey at the par three sixth. He's played one of the hardest holes a week here at New Macart. Birdies at three and five so far. Not to be at six. Nathan going along very nicely at nine under par. I mentioned the tricky conditions for this day three, but Jeremy Freiburg House is loving out there. Started the day with three consecutive birdies, but he's found the heavy cabbage at 16, but he's done a fantastic job there. Green side in three shots. He's sitting at nine under par as well. Good look for birdie coming up. Over to nine, Tom Sloman, one under for the day so far. His last event was back at the start of March. And a birdie there at nine. This is turning into an exceptional week for Tom. Back to Freiburg House. After that sensational third shot at 16. Already five under for the day. And he's got to double digits. What a birdie. That is from the Swiss man. Fourth place last week in Spain, and going along well in Scotland this week. And looking on, young and old. Freiburg House at 17, fairway found with his drive. An easy swing. Not much left in at this penultimate hole. Laser like iron from Freiburg House, and he could get to 11 under par. All smiles around this 17th green. Looks a formality. A Freiburg House, sensational round, bogey free for the Swiss player. And he's at 11 under par. All smiles for Jeremy. 
par at the last, sealed a scintillating 64 for the Swiss, now safe in the clubhouse on 11 under. Both overnight leaders Kimsey and Lee struggled on their respective journeys home, meaning Freiburg House would lead by four come close of play. Perfectly poised in Aberdeen then, and as evening falls at Newmarket Golf Club, attention turns to grabbing a bite to eat. They were in the right place, Scotland renowned for its culinary offering, as some of the class of 2022 went to discover. This is my uh, favourite pub in the whole of Newmarket, the Beaky's Nuk. They've whipped us up six courses to try, famous Scottish dishes. So let's see how we go on. He's hungry, ready to go? Let's do it. Yeah, Perfect. Let's, let's do it. Oh, lads, we've got Cullen Skink, a famous Scottish soup, I think. Get in there, boys. That's not for me, but use crack soup, on. Yeah. Fish soup, yeah. <laughs> Loving it. It's me. The smell of it is getting me. Number two, lads. We've got the haggis and black pudding balls. Tuck in, see what you think. Oh no, a revel, a revel. You just went for the whole thing. Straight in there, it's that'll be hot. roasting. <laughs> I don't like black pudding, so this is like roulette. Let's see if that's the black pudding. Yeah, that is. Not for me. Not for you? No. No, I don't like it either. Haggis much the same though, it's, it's like every part of a sheep boiled in like a sheep's stomach. Really, quite appealing, isn't it? Here we go. We have beef, olives, mashed tatties and neeps. This looks very good. Yeah, that's a bit of you. We'll just give you the whole plate, will we? <laughs> give the neeps a try, lads. I'd say that's it's delicious. A, it's nice, it's just mm. carrot and uh, turnip mixed together. Okay. So, that yeah, is really nice. Finish it no, you, you crack on, <laughs> <aren't you? laughs> Number four, Kranikin. It does look bloody good. I've never had it before. I'll need to crack yeah. it and I've not tried yeah, yet, so here on, we go. Oh, it's like a solid base. It's like a cheesecake. Oh, it's lovely. Some tablet and some homemade shortbread. Lovely. Just baked it up this morning for you, boys. Just for you coming in. Tastes similar to like white chocolate. <laughs> really? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Last course of the day. Listen to this. Oh, cheers, Thanks fellas. It's a good week yeah. in Scotland. Thank you. Cheers. Great to be here. Yeah. No shortage of fine cuisine in Aberdeen then. And there's been plenty of mouth-watering golf to enjoy too. Three courses served up so far at Umaka Golf Club with one more to come. Jeremy Freiburg House well clear after 54 holes, remember, and watching them home, Josh Atman. Jeremy Freiburg House with a four shot lead heading into this final round of the Farm Foods Scottish Challenge. Cool, calm head needed for the Swiss man. Yeah. Have you signs at this par four fifth? Round with three straight birdies. This one's tracking. Oh, what a bonus that is! Happy size now, right in the mix in this tournament. His best finish on tour was a fifth at last year's British Challenge. Could go a few places better this week. Freiburg House is at eight. He's had a double bogey at the fourth, a bogey at the sixth. What a bounce back that is. Much needed for Freiburg House. Gets him back to nine under par. And he's now chasing. Good drive from Sainz here at 14. Currently tied for the lead at 10 under par. Hoisting this one high into the grey skies. Oh, this could be good from the Spaniard. It is very good from Javier Sainz. 11 under par is looking likely. Scotland's very own son, Paul Laurie, the 99 Open champion. Now this, from size to get to 11 under par, he's had just one bogey since round one, and he is the leader. Fantastic from Javier Sainz. Could have made a win beyond the horizon for Sainz. Jeremy Freiburg House needs to put this close if he's gonna have any chance of winning. Javier Sainz in the clubhouse at 11 under par, 
Cry Burkhouse, one over for his round. Given the situation, that's a very good shot from Jeremy. The math is simple. If Fry Burkhouse birdies, we're going to a playoff. And he's done it. Absolutely clutch from Jeremy Freiburghaus. 11 under par, and he joins Javier Sainz at the top of the leaderboard. Yes, clutch indeed from Freiburghaus. Back to level par for the day, and minus 11 overall. In so doing, he ensured the Farm Food Scottish Challenge, supported by the R&A, would be determined by a playoff. Spain v Switzerland for the title then. And all eyes turned back on the 18th hole once more. Great approach from Signs at the second playoff hole. Very similar putt this to Freiburg House in regulation. Oh, and he's got it. What a birdie in the player from Signs, heaping all the pressure back onto Freiburg House. This goes in. We're heading back down the 18th for a third time. Oh, but he's missed it. Javier Sainz is a winner on the Challenge Tour for the very first time. Disappointment for Jeremy Freiburg House, but congratulations to Javier Sainz. Yeah, I played all the week good from the tee. And, and yeah, the two rounds of six under, I, I was, uh, the pattern was hot. Very happy with, with today. I feel 100%. Uh, uh, I mean, I was, uh, I arrived on Wednesday. I lost my, my flight, so I, I thought uh, if the week starts wrong, maybe can finish well. So it happened and I'm very happy with the, with, the, with the week. See you next week. Congratulations to Senor Sainz then. 44,000 road to Mallorca points to accompany his triumph in Scotland. And it's vaulted the Spaniard very much up into the reckoning. Eighth place after just two starts this season. Runner up Freiburg House climbs to fifth behind Mivis, Dantorp, Canapa, and our leader, JC Ritchie. Michael Lindbergh makes further headway. Third last week in Spain, tied for 14th here in Scotland. It's also been quite the fortnight for Switzerland's Benjamin Rouche. A pair of top tens have seen him sneak into that all-important 20th and final promotion spot for now. And so concludes a sensational week in Scotland. Next up for the class of 2022 is a return to mainland Europe for the D&D Real Czech Challenge. Join us next week then as the quest for promotion to the DP World Tour continues.